Here we have the all-new 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. This one comes in the high country trim level, so top of the line. And then we also have the Midnight Edition package on this one. Comes in black on jet black perforated leather interior. And then our powertrain consists of that 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8 engine. And that's made it to a 10 speed Allison automatic transmission. But I love how this one's specced out. Love the Midnight Edition package. Now, of course, we come to the front end here. We get that new front fascia, LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, LED fog lights. And I just love having that kind of aluminum gray finish there, the black badging, and then everything body color, the bumper, everything there. So just a great look. And then as we come around to the wheels here, these are gonna be 20 inch aluminum. But just love the look, love it. Now to the door panel here, I love that we have that wood there, memory seat functions, power door lock controls, and then to do your memory seat, just hit set and hold the number you wanna set it to. And then to recall it, just press either one. You have two options there. And then we do have our power mirror controls here. We can turn those on and off, adjust using the dial for either side. And then we do have power folding and power sliding side mirrors there with blind spot monitors. So just gonna demonstrate that. And the buttons for those are there. So that's power fold, power slide. Then we have our rear window lock there. One touch automatic up and down windows for the front, express down windows for the back. Plenty of storage in the door panel here. And I like that they kind of kept that nice trim going throughout to the bottle holders here. And then a Bose sound system. Electronic parking brake, just press that to engage at the brake, press it again to disengage. We have our drive modes we can go through here. We just have off-road normal and then our tow haul mode there. Four wheel drive controls, headlamp controls, fog light, brightness for the gauge cluster, bed lamp there, heads up display controls. Then we also have a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel and we can just Hit that latch there to adjust. And there we can release the hood. And here is the power driver's seat. And we do get two-way power lumbar support, but I love, just love the stitching and everything, the colors that you get on the high country here. Feels really nice as well. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But there's a storage underneath. And we also have storage in the seats. Let's go ahead and check out this room in the back. So great headroom, great leg room. Of course, this is a full size heavy duty truck. So there's gonna be plenty of space for the whole crew. And then we do have three stage heated outboard seats, rear AC vents, USB-C and a USB-A charge port. Cup holders are there. The middle seat folds down. You have two bottle holders and additional storage there. And we do get the premium LED dome lights throughout. There's a quick look at the front from back here. And then we can hang several hanger hooks right here, whether they're plastic or metal. But I'm going to see if I can just show you all the price there 89.850 because the back glass is so tinted it's kind of hard to see all of that i'm just going to run through it if you all can see it good if not no big deal but we do have the technology package z71 package and that midnight edition package and we also have the dual alternators as well which is a nice touch and then this one has the optional tri-fold bed cover and we also have the multi-flex tailgate as well so we can do all of that then the bar is there and then of course we have the bed lights here and then we have a 120 volt three prong plug in back here as well but i'll put all this back together just bear with me it's hard to do with one hand But there is the, back in there, we do get the LED tail lamps. 
And then our spare is just right there. But again, can't say enough about how just great this truck looks. And we also have optional power running boards as well. But there is the front passenger seat. We also have that two-way power lumbar there. And as you can see, there's storage throughout, just tons and tons of storage place. Then we do have our top storage cubby there and then a lockable glove compartment right there. Now, as we come back around to the front end here, pop the hood, there's that 6.6 .6 liter Duramax V8. And let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. But I'm just gonna give you a quick look at the, the trailering information here so you all can see for yourself. We got conventional trailering. We can get up to 18.5 and then gooseneck 19.1. But in the driver's seat here, we do get the leather wrap steering wheel, which we can heat by hitting that button there. Pretty good space, and we do have a power sunroof here, so I only have about an inch or two, probably about two or three inches of headroom, but I could also lower the seat quite a bit too, so when it's all the way down, I get another half an inch or so. But we do get this 13.4 inch screen here. For audio, we get AM, FM, XM, along with Bluetooth, and then we have Amazon Alexa, the podcast news, all that through Google, with our USB input as well, but we also get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto compatibility. So unless you're needing to charge your phone, you don't necessarily need the USB cord. Now we do get the Google Maps system, so that does require a subscription to get the, the full on features that come with it. But still like the system overall, especially if it's not something that you're gonna be using frequently. I mean, you still have your traffic patterns here and then just really good graphics, easy to use. And then of course you can just find destinations or type out a destination, whatever, just very simple system. And then to connect your phone, you can go there or you can go through the settings, which I'll show you in a minute, and just manage phones, add phone, and then it'll walk you right through it, give you step-by-step -step instructions. And then again, that's where the connections are. If you want to go ahead and manage the phone connections, just go in there. And then vehicle settings are here. So you have buckle to drive, team driver, etc. And then go down to system settings. You can change your language there. And then we do get dual zone automatic climate control, so we can either use the screen here, which I actually like. I usually don't like screens, and I've said this before, but I love the new systems in these updated Google screens here. You can adjust either side temperature, sync, and then unsync, and then turn your auto mode on and just adjust that by adjusting fan speed, and then your direction to turn all of that off. And then you can power the whole system down as well. And then for the trailering, with this truck in particular, you can add a trailer, use a guest trailer, use the accessories and all of that stuff. And pretty cool system. Just test your lights. You have the option to have those cameras there. You get that kind of 360 view with the trailer. Now for the backup camera, you do get the 360 view. Guidelines follow you as well as you turn the wheel. And then we also have the, the front camera there too. We have that top down view, curbside view, trailer hitch view, and then my favorite view is the the bed camera there. Just love being able to see what's going on in the back. But down here we have the exhaust brake, lane keep assist with lane departure, parking sensors, this is how we can lower the tailgate hitting that button. Hazards are there, traction control, downhill brake control, and we have a volume knob here you can click there to mute, and then quick shortcut for the home button or for the home page which is nice 
and then over here you have a few options on what you can see on the side which is pretty neat I like having this so if you are when you are driving or whatever you can see the the status of the trailer speaking of which the trailer brake controller is here and then we do have three stage heated cooled front seats and then a USB A USB C port right there bottle holders are here and I love love the center console cubby space just how nice and premium the cover feels and then you open this up wireless charging pad another USB-C USB-A duo there and then a three prong plug-in right there to cover that up and then you do have this remote removable tray now I'm gonna pull the power sunroof shade back there and then we have our garage door transmitter power sunroof these controls are here and then the power sliding rear window controls right there so we'll one touch that i love one touch sends it all the way back then we can shut that one touch as well and then while we're looking at the back seat here there's that power sliding rear window and then we do have the rear camera mirror you can toggle that on and off the switch down below and then for the shifter, pull, reverse, neutral drive, and then we do have the low gear, and we can manually shift using the buttons on the side of the shifter there. And then to the left stalk here, windshield wiper controls one time, and then all of our intermittent modes are here. And we have low, high, and then we can use the wiper fluid, hitting that button there. Auto high beams, we can toggle those here, and then we can toggle the high beams when the low beams are on just by tapping that, and then we can flash here. And then we do have adaptive cruise control here, which is a great touch, I think, on a heavy duty truck. We can toggle that there, adjust speed, cancel, forward collision alert, gap adjust there. And then we do have a Bluetooth control, which is also a mute button, and then voice recognitions here. And we can scroll through the gauge cluster menus here, and then go through the sub menus themselves just by scrolling through left or right. And then you can go to the units and the options, and then you can go from US to metric there. And then you can also change what's shown on the the info pages. But I love having that digital gauge cluster there. And all of our buttons are down here below. So the ABS, airbag light, brake light there. And I'll show you that. That's the parking brake. And then we have a few buttons over here. I think the tire pressure monitor and whatnot is down there below there. And then for the heads up display, I'm gonna zoom in there. There's the different info options. And then behind the steering wheel on the left side, we have our track list of radio station presets we can toggle up and down. And then behind on the right side, we have our volume up and down there. Push button start. Here's the key fob with remote start. And we can lower that tailgate as well, hitting that twice. But next it's time to go ahead and take this 2500 HD High Country out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this High Country 2500, it's crazy how I've driven a base model 2500 and just how different this feels. Just having the leather wrapped steering wheel, having the, the screen here, everything just looks so premium. And then of course having the heated cooled seats is nice as well. And with these seats, I've said this, I think I did a uh, Denali Ultimate. It's crazy how, even though this is a heavy duty truck, how much more comfortable the truck is itself just by having the, the upgraded leather seats here. Now, of course, the, the Duramax paired with this Allison transmission, it's, it just drives so great. It's just, it's incredible, it really is. And another good thing is that also doubles is making it a pretty good workhorse. But it also can be fun to drive. And it just has such a such a nice purr to it. I'm gonna put on the adaptive cruise here and let's see if I can pull up the fuel economy for those that are curious. So 
So we're getting 16 miles per gallon here, just cruising. And we do have the adaptive cruise on now. It's not really doing anything because no one's in front of me. And then we have the lane keeping system too, which just helps, especially with a bigger truck like this. Even though it's pretty good visibility, it's, it's huge. And that's kind of the, the stance that it has. But I mean, you have blind spot monitors, the adaptive cruise, the lane keeping system. So it just makes it that much easier to drive down the road here. As you can see as we're coming down here we're getting 20 miles per gallon so we'll probably expect that 14 15 maybe even 16 miles per gallon on the highway just doing 70. but honestly the ride quality again having the more premium seats i think makes the ride that much more enjoyable now it's still a heavy duty truck so it's not necessarily smooth but again makes it that much more comfortable as opposed to a base model truck that might have vinyl seats or cloth seats now i will say even with this being a heavy duty truck again the visibility is so good just having these trailering mirrors and they really double when you're not pulling something as a good way to to see better specifically in those blind spots or to make sure you're not about to hit something if you're parking really close or something like that. But I'm gonna give it just a little, a little pull here once this truck gets out of the way. It's just such, such great power, especially when the turbo does its thing. It's, it's downright enjoyable, it really is. Now, in terms of the competition, I do think that GM kind of has the upper hand right now because they are the, the more recent redesign as opposed to the big three. Well, when it comes to the big three, let me put it that way. So Ram hasn't redesigned their 2,500 in a minute. And Ford, I think they gave it a slight refresh for 23. But it wasn't really anything noticeable. In terms of just exterior aesthetics uh the new interior all of that but this here is just it helps that gm i think was kind of in last place when it came to the the interior especially compared to ford and and ram so bringing this new system with 13.4 inch screen just the all new layout here is a, a really nice touch but i mean i like how this truck drives it is ninety thousand dollars but it's a heavy duty truck and honestly, compared to getting a Denali Ultimate 2500 that might push upwards of $100,000, I think this is a a nice a nice way to, I guess, look different. I mean, I think it looks sharper than the Denali Ultimates, this Midnight Edition especially. But then you still have all your capabilities that you would with that truck as well. So you still have your blind spot monitors, adaptive cruise, the lane keep system. Not really missing anything except maybe the massage seats, which unless you're used to having them, they're really not gonna be a big deal. But I think a great truck for the money, especially if you're gonna be using it for work. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 2500 HD High Country.